Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to a Stanford Saturday. I'm Jeremiah Martin, and I'm broadcasting here from Portsmouth, Ohio, uh, using the sample set of Billerbeck Cathedral in Germany, uh, where we're going to enjoy some of the works of Sir Charles Villiers Stanford. Uh, this year is 100 years since Stanford passed, so I expect there are lots of activities, and it's a great opportunity to learn about Stanford and uh, hear some of his music. And in these weekend streams, it's an opportunity for some live chat and for us all to get to know each other, uh, share some of the music. And today in particular, I'm going to share some of the influences. So it's not going to be a completely Stanford program. So welcome. If you haven't already, do drop by in the chat, say hi, let us know you're here, say where you're from. And uh, if you're watching this on Catch Up, please do leave a comment, let me know what you think, and uh, certainly there are opportunities for conversation and discussion, um, and uh, let me know. So, uh, I want these programs to be informal, uh, but certainly it's an opportunity for me to learn some things, and uh, hopefully all of you can learn some things with me. So, Stanford is an Irishman living abroad, much like myself. I grew up in Galway, Ireland, and now I'm living in the United States. And on one of the prior streams, we looked at his brief overview of his life and how he was born in Dublin, uh, but moved and spent all of his professional career and later life in England. Um, however, Germany was of particular importance to him. Uh, and he spent a couple of years studying in Germany at the Leipzig Conservatory. And this is our first detour that I wish to take. Uh, so Stanford went over there to study with Reinecke, but he mentions in his memoirs and in some of his notes that he was particularly fond of a Robert Paperitz, uh, who was the organist of the Nikolai Kirke. And I have mentioned uh, Robert Paperitz before on this channel. There's uh, a recording of pretty much the complete works of Badison Haynes that I could find, and this is his organ sonata, which he dedicated to Paperitz. So at the time, Folks were leaving England and going to Germany, uh, studying with uh, folks over there, and Paperitz was extremely influential. Now, he didn't leave us much, uh, but there are some chorale preludes, and I want to share one of those with you uh, right now. So, uh, hopefully we can switch back over here and uh, we can see the score. Uh, I'm just taking a quick look to make sure that uh, we don't have any issues with audio or video so far. So. I'm glad for that, and once again, welcome. Uh, if you're just joining us, uh, do drop by and uh, say hi in the chat. So what we have here is one of the chorale preludes that Paperitz left to us, and it's quite probable that Stanford may have had an opportunity to study, if not this very piece, but music like this. Um, and Paperitz was experimenting. He was pushing harmon harmony and harmonic language outside of the norm. Uh, some composers really liked it, uh, there's actually some notes from Grieg that he wasn't sure that uh, we were ready to head in those uh, directions with harmony just yet. Um, but I really love this piece. Uh, uh, it's O Traurigkeit, O Hertz Lied. Uh, it is a piece for Passion Tide. Uh, but what you're going to hear in this piece, uh, the melody line uh, is going to be in the pedal. So you'll be hearing the melody on a forefoot and the pedal. Meanwhile, he calls for 16 foot, so the usual bass that we hear is actually going to be coming from the manuals. All of those low rumbly sounds are coming from the manuals with this pedal texture in between. So this is a short chorale prelude, but I hope you enjoy it. Um, I know I've been, this is music that I also think really needs to be heard, and I think as we explore Stanford, taking this opportunity uh, to see where he might have gotten some ideas is uh, an exciting side adventure. Anyhow, I'm gonna stop by and see who's in the chat right after this, but uh, until then, uh, let's go ahead and enjoy this chorale prelude by Robert Paperitz.
Isn't that great? I hope you all enjoyed that. That was uh, Robert Paprid's uh, chorale on O Hertz Lead. Uh, so we're exploring Stanford and some of his influences, and that would have been one of his professors at the Leipzig Conservatory. Uh, so let's take a moment and uh, just say hi. I appreciate you all being here with us today. Uh, just kind of scrolling back through the chat here, I see a lot of folks. Thank you all for being here. Hi, Brooks. Gerald Long, good to see you. I'm here, apparently. Uh, Jill Herzog, good to see you. Maurice, thank you for being here. Rick and Debbie, tuning in from Lexington, thank you for being here. Chang Hua, thank you for being here. Maria Nu, thank you for joining us. Aaron, greetings from LA and good morning. <laughs> Graham Twist, thank you so much for being here. Cameron, so good to see you. Bill Rady, thank you for being here. Sean Pierre, thank you for being here. Georges, thank you so much for your support. Marcus Dreha, good to see you. Thank you for tuning in. And Joyce from just down, down the road here, thank you so much for tuning in. Great to see you all. Well, I hope you're enjoying the music. Uh, I'm just going to uh, quickly check uh, through the live comments here and just making sure uh, everything seems to be running okay. So uh, again, thank you all for being here. Um, again, do introduce yourself in the chat, and uh, if there are any issues and whatnot, uh, we'll try and make sure that we uh, keep things moving in the right direction. So I'm going to return over to my slide deck. Uh, we were just talking about Robert Paparitz there, and now I want to talk about some of the musical influence uh, that Stanford had. So he grew up in Dublin, Ireland, and uh, moved to uh, England. Uh, but during that time, he remained very involved with the Irish music uh, preservation. And Stanford uh, was involved in collating and editing uh, the Petrie collection of Irish music, uh, which is to this day a very important uh, set of manuscripts. Um, so, so much of Stanford's music, he is so well known as a church music composer, uh, but so much of his music uh, outside of the church heavily draws from Irish melodies. So by way of additional backgrounds, many of you may not know, but I have a traditional Irish background. I actually started playing the fiddle at a young age and uh, then moved on to uh, playing the piano. And traditional Irish piano uh, was something that uh, I was very involved with growing up and had an opportunity to Play with some really great people and uh, in fact played some competitions and whatnot. Uh, so it's really just in the past couple of years here in Portsmouth that I've been reconnecting with my Irish roots and I thought this was a perfect opportunity to introduce you to another side of me as a musician but also it's very relevant as we explore the music of Stanford because so many of these tunes are baked into his music. So with that I'm actually sitting here at the piano for what is a debut, I believe, on my stream. So hopefully this is going to work okay. We'll see what happens. Um, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to play some of the tunes that I played uh, on the piano growing up. Um, there's uh, most of the music of Ireland is dance music. So I'm going to play three melodic forms for you here. There's a hornpipe, uh, which is a slower type of dance. It's not a musical instrument. Then we'll have a jig, which is our usual 6-8, or the uh, type of dance we most commonly think about uh, in Ireland. Um, and then we'll finish with a reel. And after that, we're going to transition back in. But for right now, let's have some traditional Irish music on the piano. Hope you enjoy. And the piano went to sleep, so give me one moment while we wake that back up. <laughs> There we go.
So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. That was a hornpipe, a jig, and a reel uh, on the piano. So <clears throat> before we transition back to Stanford, there is one other very important uh, Irish musician I want to introduce you to. And uh, let me see if I can get my slide deck back up here again. Uh, so this is Michal O'Sullivan. And Michal O'Sullivan uh, was a very important figure in Irish traditional music, unfortunately just passed away after a long illness in 2018. Um, but he brought a love of traditional Irish music, uh, blended it with some jazzy elements, and started an institute for Irish music at the University of Limerick. Uh, a lot of his music is for piano. To my knowledge, there's nothing uh, of his available for organ, uh, but um, maybe that's something that may happen. Some of his orchestral works may end up getting transcribed, foreshadowing here, so we'll see what happens. But in the meantime, uh, one of his most famous and beloved pieces for piano is a fusion of two Irish melodies. Uh, he entitled it simply Woodbrook, and I'm going to go ahead and play that for you now.
So Mihalo Suluan's Woodbrook, more to come. So why did I feel need to include something like that? Well, we are now going to move to another piece of Stanford before we return to the organ. Um, and this is Stanford taking Irish music, writing it for orchestra, transcribed by Percy Granger, played now here in Ohio. Uh, so Stanford wrote a series of four orchestral dances <clears throat> for a small orchestra based on Irish melodies from the Petrie collection. And all four of these were transcribed for piano. And I think today they're really just known as pieces by Percy Granger. I have been unsuccessful <clears throat> at finding an orchestral recording of these. Uh, if anybody who's listening right now or in follow-up is aware of any recordings of the Stanford original orchestral arrangements, I would love to hear those. Uh, but in the meantime, these are something else that I have my sight on as a potential transcription. Um, the Internet Archive <clears throat> is a wonderful resource. And this is a page from the manuscript. So if you go to archive.org, uh, you can look up all kinds of wonderful materials which are made available. Um, and this is in Stanford's hand, uh, the manuscript of number three, the Leprechaun's Dance. So we are now going to hear the Leprechaun's Dance transcribed from that orchestral score by Percy Granger. Today, people know what the leprechauns are. They are the stereotypical little Irish people, but in Irish folklore, fairies and leprechauns were always out there, you know, in parallel to the, you know, the big people's world, I guess. Um, leprechauns were known to be pretty mischievous. Uh, so I think in this piece, Stanford takes two Irish jigs, specifically slip jigs or hop jigs. They're in 9-8 uh, and combines them together in this really fun piece. So. Stanford's Leprechaun Dance from his set of Irish dances. Um, and this was published in uh, 1919 um, and, uh, of course, arranged by Percy Granger. I hope you enjoy.
There we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. The Leprechaun Dance uh, by Sir Charles Villiers Stanford. So, as I mentioned, uh, for folks that may be tuning in, we're looking at some of Stanford's influences. And in that piece, uh, Stanford uh, very heavily drew on traditional Irish music, uh, specifically from the Petrie Collection. And that piece exists in uh, orchestral form. Uh, it's been transcribed for the orchestra, uh, fr from the orchestra rather, for uh, piano by Percy Granger. But to my knowledge, uh, I have not been able to find any recordings. So if anybody has uh, got any information about that, I would love to hear that. So you may have heard a little bit of shuffling in the background, and that's because we're back at the organ. And uh, just taking a, a quick look at uh, the chat here. Uh, so let's see. Uh, uh, we have some new folks uh, since I last checked in. So Kristen, good to see you. Uh, Shane Runyon, good to see you, neighbor. Stuart Gaskell, uh, great to see you. Robert Varner and R. Sexton, thank you all so much for being here. Uh, it really means the world, and uh, I hope you're uh, enjoying the program so far. So um, as we're transitioning back to the organ, uh, the piece that I'm going to be concluding with is the Fantasia and Toccata. Uh, this was one of the first of Stanford's bigger works that I learned, and it's actually perhaps uh, one of his more well-known uh, works. Um, I know there's at least one person in the chat who came across my channel through this piece. Uh, so this piece, now that we're listening to this with the ears of knowing that he may have been influenced by a German uh, tradition, in addition to some Irish melodies, you will probably pick out some of those influences. Uh, it's definitely an homage to Bach. Uh, it's very much similar to uh, the great Fantasia and Fugue in terms of how it opens. But Stanford is taking some of these new harmonies uh, in his own direction. Um, I'm just going to have a very quick look at the chat here just to see if I've got uh, any questions here recently uh, that I need to address. Um, thank you all so much. Um, Phil, I just see your comment. Jerry, keeping it real. Yes, indeed. <laughs> thank you all. You're all so very, very kind. I uh, really appreciate it. Um, anyhow, this will be our final piece in the program today. It's a big one. So I hope you enjoy Sir Charles Villiers Stanford's Fantasia on Toccata, and uh, perhaps you'll be inspired to listen to some more of his music. Certainly, please, in the description here, you'll eventually see a uh, playlist of all of the Stanford recordings I've made. Um, every weekend, I'm trying to do at least one upload, so slowly but surely, we'll get through all of his works. Um, and of course, uh, do tune back in on the third Saturday of the month for our next installment of the Stanford Sessions. So I will see you on the other side.
Well, thank you all for tuning in on this Saturday. And I hope you enjoyed this tour through some of the wonderful music of Sir Charles Villiers Stanford and some of his influences, and perhaps give you some ideas of some of the things I will be getting up to in the future. So thank you all again very much. And until next time, take care. Goodbye from Ohio. <laughs>